Matthews 15 and verse 24, coming from the King James Version of the Hebrew Bible. And this is what it reads. And he answered and said, For I am not sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It is a known fact that African American lineage can be traced back to the seed of Abraham from the tribe of Judah. And our heritage can be found in the Torah, which are the five books of Moses, the Tanakh, the writings of the prophets. We are the modern day lost sheep that are scattered among the nations according to the writings of the prophets. Deuteronomy 4 verse 27 says, The Lord God will scatter you among the nations, and only a few you will survive. We are fulfilling Bible prophecy today. And I just want to share some brief insight regarding Matthew 15 and verse 24. Now, if you happen to be called a Christian and you attend a local church, you might hear some of your preachers or spiritual teachers teach and preach from the sermons of Christ. Now, I have an issue with what they um, teach because they don't like to talk about lineage. And when you talk about lineage, well, excuse me, when you don't talk about lineage, you don't get what is called a biblical understanding of the scriptures because when you go open the book, especially from a King James Version, it's going to tell you that he is the God of the Hebrews. According to Exodus 3 and verse 15, he told Moses and Aaron to go to back, back to Egypt and uh, summon the elders of Israel and then go to the king of Egypt and say unto him, the Lord God of the Hebrews have met with us. And so that's who Christ was talking to. He was talking to the seed of Abraham, which is known as uh, Israel or the children of Israel or Israelites or Hebrews. It depends on what translation you are reading the uh, text from. So when Christ came on the scene, he was looking for his people. Now the people that were on the scene when he uh, came would be the tribe of Judah. That's the tribe of people that he chose to leave at Jerusalem during the days of uh, King Solomon. If you go and read 1 Kings 11 and verse 36, it's going to tell you that he split the kingdom. Israel was no longer a one nation. It became two nations. You had the nation of Israel, then you had the nation of Judah. Judah would be the tribe that he chose to uh, come out of and would leave at Jerusalem. So when he was on the scene, he was just looking for his people. Matthew 15 and verse 24 makes it very clear who Christ came for. And he answered and said, For I am not sent unto lost sheep of the house of Israel. This scripture alone should tell you that Christ didn't die for the world, as our religious leaders have been <laughs> preaching from generation to generation. He only died for Matthew's 15 and verse 24. Your local church would never tell you this.